So this is my first match against the Xenomorph, or the Alien. Not my first match as Ellen, because my first match as Ellen was actually against the Pig on Auto Haven, which was really random. <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, it was a good warm-up. Um, this map is very pretty. I kind of, I'm not really feeling it with the pallets and the vault locations, though. I feel like they're all very unsafe, in my opinion. Maybe I'm just new to the map, but I just feel like when I'm in chases, I feel like there's not really many things I can work with. So you kind of just have to run in like a straight line and hope for the best. Which is mostly kind of how maps have been lately, but I don't really care. I play this game for fun, and I look at it like, like, like a party game. Where, like, I play with my friends or random people and I try to have fun with, like, perks and, like, um, I say that when I run, like, Kindred and Off the Record, the two perks I always run, but you know what I mean. Um, anyways, this map is nice. I don't know where I was running. I think this was Shaq, but I was mostly really confused because I was like, wait, this goes backwards, you know, you have to learn new maps, like, this is literally my first time playing this map, so I'm like, oh, the basement's there. Um, I didn't really get that much chases this match. Uh, the Xenomorph was mostly chasing just one person the whole match, which sucks for them, but, I mean, like, <laughs> it was probably their first match against the Xenomorph, and that was the introduction, but anyways, um, I actually figured that how to open that door there's a key card body near somewhere around the map and um there's a code that you put in the little thing and it opens that door with a chest kind of like the uh, midwich elementary school clock tower but uh i'm not gonna lie i never was really a big fan on alien i know alien of course and xenomorph and alien ripley but i wasn't like a diehard fan like i am with like silent hill and halloween um i still think it's really cool that they added them for the people that want alien i know a lot of people that actually really liked alien also i love how i said i wasn't wasn't gonna talk much but here i am just rambling on <laughs> i don't make sense anymore I don't know. <laughs> um, I was trying really hard to save this Ripley. I was I went down twice for them because I knew I had tenacity, so I could just crawl away and recover quickly. Um, but yeah, his power is a lot to get used to. He's basically Nemesis, so you just have to play him play like you're playing against nemesis like be safe with pallets be safe with vaults um, but the difference is that the xenomorph doesn't have to get different tiers he just gets that ability right when he spawns in so not unlike nemesis where he has to be tier three no tier two before he breaks pallets and tier three when it gets longer so This is really off topic, but a lot of people, uh, when this chapter came out on, well, it's not really off topic, but I, on their Facebook page and Instagram, Dead by Daylight, under Alien Posts, I always see people comparing Texas Chainsaw Massacre and this game. I don't understand why that's even a thing. I don't understand why two games can't just exist, like, you know, how there's, like, Battle, Battlefield and Call of Duty and all that. And yeah, you prefer one or the other, but I don't understand why two games can't exist. And I was not looking at his ass, I promise. I was looking at the, the, the sky. Uh, but I don't understand why everyone is comparing the two. I mean, they're two separate, separate different games. And if you like one or the other, go for it. But um, I actually had some people message me. Or tell me that I should switch to Texas Chainsaw instead of Dead by Daylight. Like, you may not enjoy it, but I enjoy Dead by Daylight. So let me enjoy it. Anyways, thank you.